first aid video assignment number three. Of course, start with your gloves whenever you assess a victim. And also I will be demonstrating and explaining how to splint an extremity, specifically an ankle injury with a soft splint. In this video, you'll see the soft splint will be a pillow. And before we do all that, of course, we're going to receive consent from the victim. Hi, my name is Lauren Goche and I'm a trained first aid provider. I see that you're really hurt. Can I help you? Yes. The second part is a primary check of the victim, so I'm gonna ask a series of questions. The scene is safe based on a scene size up, so I will proceed. What's your name? Bailey. Where are you? In my apartment. <laughs> what month and year is it? June 2022. And what happened? <laughs> I fell, twisted my ankle. The victim seems responsive. Now sample. What hurts? My ankle. Is it a lot of pain? Yes. Are, do you have any allergies or allergic to anything? No. Is there any medications you're taking? There are four. Past pertinent history, have you had any recent medical conditions? I was sick. With a cold? Okay. And what is, what did you eat or drink last? Nachos. Yummy. What did you drink last? Dr. Pepper. And I heard you said that you were playing softball your friends and kind of just, did you fall wrong on it or? Yeah. Okay. Now dots. As I can see from here, there's deformity. The ankle looks like it's dislocated. It is swollen and there is tenderness. There is no open wound. This will be a joint muscle injury, a dislocated ankle. So I will be splinting her ankle as the example in this video. Before I splint the extremity, I will do a CSM check, which is a circulation sensation movement check. For a circulation, I will check the pulse rate of the posterior tibial with two fingers. Then I will do sensation, which is asking the victim to close their eyes and ask them, what toe am I squeezing? My big toe. And then last is movement. I will ask the victim, can you wiggle your toes? <laughs> they, she can wiggle them, so everything looks fine in that area. After CSM, we can now splint the extremity. Before we splint, we do follow Rice procedure. After CSM, circulation sensation movement check, a lot of times if EMS is delayed or you're going to transport the victim to the nearest medical facility, it is important to do RISE procedure um, before you splint an extremity. So in this situation, it is an ankle dislocation. So we're going to do R, which is your rest. And that can simply mean that you want your victim to be as still as possible, a little movement, make sure that the leg and the ankle is just not being moved, it's an arrested position. Um, a lot of times they say to whatever the position that ankle is in, try to leave it in that position and other types of body parts and extremities, very similar. The next part is I, which is ice. A lot of times it's an ice pack. In this case today I have a just ice cubes in a Ziploc, you'll double it and you'll also have a towel and you will put the towel in between the ice pack and the skin. I mean, you're going to apply it for 20 minutes for every three to four hours. If it is too cold um, and you're noticing and is it affecting the extremity, then you can do it for 10 minutes, but the standard is 20 minutes. After the ice is applied, you're going to do C, which is compression. Compression, you're going to use a elastic um, bandage. And for an ankle wound specifically, uh, you wanna put something against the skin before you start wrapping it, um, especially around the wound, just so that it 
it's not you don't want it too tight to cut circulation so for an ankle you will take a towel and you will just twist it like so and kind of like a horseshoe shape and you're gonna put it around the edges of the ankle not on the ankle but around the ankle and you're gonna use this bandage to kind of hold it in place you will do that for so a certain amount of time and then obviously the next part is e elevate but before you elevate the extremity it is important to splint so the next part we're going to get in the video is splint and extremity which is what this video is about and in this video i will show you how to splint an ankle injury specifically a dislocation with a soft splint using a pillow to elevate it afterwards anything to elevate it i have a big pillow but just something it could be a duffel bag something to elevate the um, extremity a certain spot it's basically the rice procedure those are some of the materials you would need but it is rest ice pack compression and elevate splinting and extremity um which is this is an ankle dislocation i'm going to be using a soft splint which is a pillow and to tie the pillow or to secure the pillow around the ankle uh, you use like cravettes or triangular bandages but in this case I had to improvise and use pillowcases so I will talk this through with the victim I'm going to stabilize your ankle by wrapping this pillow around the ankle that extends above below and around it and I will tie these kind of bandages around to secure it to make sure the pillow doesn't come loose I will not tie it too tight because it can't cut the circulation off. So let me know if it's too tight. I have three ties around the pillow. One going towards the ankle. As you can see, it is splinted, and once EMS arrives, it will be stabilized. After you splint an extremity, it's the next part of rise, which is elevate. I will use a rolled up blanket. To where it's a little bit above the heart, and it's elevated, and EMS can arrive. Now that I've explained to the extremity, also if you wanted to before EMS comes, you would also do CSM again, circulation sensation movement. Before EMS comes, it's a, just a procedure you do before and after splinting an extremity. This is the end of the video. As you see, I received consent. I gave a primary check assessment to my victim and I showed how to properly splint an extremity, in this case, an ankle injury of a dislocation, but I also explained it thoroughly to the victim as I was attending to the victim. Thank you.